when a candidate will say, will speak truth to the conditions that we've created and then propose solutions for those conditions, I have to listen. Reasonable people should listen. If more people heard what Jill had to say, I think more people would be interested. We in this room know the score. And many of you whose faces I recognize know the toll that extremism and the pursuit of justice can extract from our beings. We cannot turn back. People who look like me cannot afford to turn back. Our survival depends on it. By the spirit of Harriet, Sojourner, Maya, Fannie Lou, Nat, and Audrey, we cannot turn back. And so when they tell us that we must vote for the lesser of two evils, we should ask why it is that we must choose evil. Jill Stein has the courage to call the prison industrial, com prison industrial complex racist, to work to, to call the death penalty barbaric, to say that our urban youth are neglected and harmed by the yeah. same society yeah. whose founding charter proclaims that it will endeavor to secure the blessings of liberty for ourselves and our posterity. The candidate who says that the judicial system kills innocent people, that police discriminate against blacks and Latinos, that candidate that says black lives matter after nearly 500 years of willful abuse and neglect, and who stands with First Nations as they demand human dignity and clean water, that is who I will stand with. Unapologetically, and repeat after me as I close, it is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. We must love and support one another. We have nothing to lose but our chains. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. We must love and support one another. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Last time from your diaphragm. It is our duty to fight for our freedom.